Welcome to Serifos, one of the prettiest islands in the Cyclades. Even though it's only a short ferry ride from Athens, Serifos has managed to retain its authentic character. With not one, but two quaint old towns, the most spectacular beaches you could ever dream of, and countless stories, sad but also fascinating about the island's mines, Serifos is one of the islands you can easily fall in love with. Serifos, Greece is situated between the islands of Kythnos and Sifnos in the western Cyclades and it's one of the most authentic Greek islands. Since Serifos is not that far from Athens, many people choose to visit for a weekend break. However, we'd highly recommend spending at least four days in Serifos, Greece to fully appreciate and enjoy everything the island has to offer. You can get to Serifos by ferry from Athens. Journey time on a high-speed ferry is about two and a half hours, while it takes about four and a half hours to get to Serifos by regular ferry. You can also reach Serifos from many other Greek islands, especially during the summer. If you're dreaming of an island-hopping adventure, it makes sense to visit the islands of Serifos and Sifnos on the same trip. Serifos, Greece is a rather compact island. In the summer, you can easily get around by public transport. That said, the best way to explore the island is to rent a car or a scooter to reach even the remotest villages and beaches and enjoy them at your own pace. Most Serifos hotels are located in Livadi, the island's seaside port town. There are also some secluded beach hotels scattered across the island. However, if you, like us, have a thing for quaint traditional towns and gorgeous island architecture, the best place to stay in Serifos is Hora, the old town. Keep in mind that accommodation options in Hora are limited. Therefore, make sure you book your room way in advance. Similar to many other off-the-beaten-path Greek islands, Serifos is famous for its delicious food, which you can try at any of the island's restaurants. The old town of Serifos, otherwise known as Hora, is divided into two parts. Katohora, or the lower town, and Anohora, or the upper town. Katohora is mainly residential, with many vacation rentals. The main things to see in Katohora are the lower square, the folklore museum, and the theatre. Near Katohora, you can walk along the scenic paved path that leads to the old Plistario, beautiful building where locals used to wash their clothes in the past. Katohora is utterly charming, but nothing can prepare you for the absolute beauty that awaits in Anohora. The highlight of Anohora is Pano Piazza or the Upper Square, which is dominated by the beautiful neoclassical building that houses the island's town hall. Pano Piazza in Serifos is one of the most picturesque squares in the Cyclades. With its colorful tables and chairs, it's a sight to behold any time of day. Yet, it's in the evening that the upper square comes to life. The most famous hangout in Serifos is no other than Stustratu, the traditional cafe that's situated in the heart of Pano Piazza. Anahora is crowned by the imposing Venetian castle of Serifos that overlooks the Aegean Sea for as far as the eye can see. Built in 1434, the castle is a fortified settlement with quaint chapels and jaw-dropping views of all the nearby islands on a clear day. The walk to the castle is an uphill one. To avoid the scorching sun, 
the best time to take a stroll around the castle is sunset. Often called the Iron Island of Greece, Seriphos is known for its mining activity that started in antiquity and carried down throughout the centuries until it was terminated in 1965. Seriphos, Greece witnessed one of the greatest moments in the history of the Greek labor movement when in August 1916 the miners went on strike demanding humane working conditions and a 40-hour work week. On the last day of the strike, deadly clashes broke out between the workers and the Royal Gendarmerie. Nowadays, you can trace back the island's mining history in the southwestern part of Serifos. In Kutalas, you can see abandoned wagons, railway ramps, holes carved in the rock, and a rusty loading ladder. However, it's in Magalo Livadi that history unfolds right before your eyes. Magalo Livadi was the center of the island's mining activity when the latter was at its peak, and it's where the events of the 1916 strike took place. This tiny village is home to a grand neoclassical mansion that used to house the mining company's headquarters. As you walk around Magalo Livadi, scan the QR code signs you'll find outside the mansion and several other buildings to read more about their history. Yet, Magalo Livadi is not only about its gloomy past, it's also where you'll experience the best sunset in Serifos, Greece. According to locals, Serifos is home to 72 spectacular beaches. Less than a handful of them have facilities such as sandbeds or umbrellas, which means that beaches in Serifos are remarkably unspoiled. Of course, there are traditional restaurants where you can dip your toes in the sand while savoring delicious Greek food at many Serifos beaches. One such example is Psiliamos, our favorite beach in Serifos. If there's one thing we don't like about Serifos beaches, though, it's the annoying amount of yachts that are anchored near the shore sometimes. Built at the end of the 16th century, the Monastery of Taxiarches is one of the prettiest monasteries in the Cyclades. Its austere exterior is a fine example of defensive architecture and it comes in striking contrast with its welcoming interior. One of the best things to do in Serifos is hiking. Some of the island's walking paths date back to ancient times, while others were created in the years when the mining activity of Serifos was thriving. Oftentimes, miners would walk along these trails for hours to reach the mines. Nowadays, if you're an avid hiker, you can get to know the entire island on foot. Legend has it that the Cyclopes, these enormous creatures that reside in the realm of Greek mythology, used to live in southwestern Serifos. The Cyclops Throne and the Cyclops Cave are among the best places to visit in Serifos. You can get there after a super easy hike that starts at the Monastery of Evangelistria. The views from the Cyclops Throne are simply breathtaking. Speaking of stunning views, another attraction in Serifos you shouldn't miss is the White Tower. Built around the 4th century BC as an observation point from where to control and protect the area's mines, it now offers some of the best panoramic views in Serifos, Greece. Serifos is one of those islands that you visit once but keep in your heart forever. We know that we'll be back before too long and we hope we inspire you to plan your own trip to Serifos. 
we're sure you love Serifos as much as we do. Thank you for watching and for letting us take you with us on this virtual trip to one of the prettiest and most authentic Greek islands. For our detailed Serifos Greece travel guide, visit www.itsalltriptome.com or find the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.